Hi, I'm Maddie Casto. I'll be doing two Shakespeare monologues for you today and two contemporary monologues. I'll be doing Paulina from A Winter's Tale, Beatrice from Much Do About Nothing, and I'll be doing a monologue from The Rabbit Hole and a monologue from Grim Truth. Thank you so much. What studied torments, tyrant, hast for me? What wheels, racks, fires? What flaying, boiling in leads or oils? What old or newer torture must I receive, whose every word deserves to taste of thy most worst? Thou wouldst have poisoned good Camillo's honor. To have him kill a king, poor trespasses. More monstrous standing by, whereof I reckon the casting forth to crows, thy baby daughter, to be or none or little, though a devil would have shed water out of fire ere dunt, nor it's directly laid to thee, the death of the young prince, whose honorable thoughts, thought I for one so tender, cleft the heart that could conceive a gross and foolish sire, blemished his gracious dam. This is not, no, laid to thy answer, but the last. O oh, lords, when I have said, cry woe the queen, the queen, the sweetest, dearest creatures dead, and vengeance for it not drop down yet. Just that he send me no husband, for the which blessing I am at him on my knees every morning and evening. Lord, I could not endure a husband with a beard on his face. I had rather lie in the woolen. What am I to do with him? Dress him in my apparel and make him my waiting gentlewoman? He that hath a beard is more than a youth, and he that hath no beard is less than a man, and he that is more than a youth is not for me, and he that is less than a man, I am not for him. Therefore, I shall lead his apes into hell where the devil will meet me. Like an old cuckold, ha ha, with horns on his head and say, get ye to heaven, Beatrice, get ye to heaven. Here's no place for you maids. <laughs> so deliver I up my apes and away to St. Peter for the heavens. He shows me where the bachelors sit and there live we as merry as the day is long. So I, uh, I see this woman coming at me from across the bar with this look on her face, you know? And all of a sudden, this lady is in my face and she's all sweating and yelling and really pissed. She's blowing her stank breath in my face and she's all like, you bitch, fuck you, you bitch. F you, you be. And she's really hefty too, you know. She's got a lot of got a lot of chins, you know. And I'm starting to feel violated, so I, I just make a fist, I hold off, boom! And that means I hit her. Let me tell you, it really hurts to punch somebody in the face. Please don't judge me. Jesus, I didn't realize that there was a cutoff date for growing up. Well, you know what? I'm still coping too, Becca. Oh, what? I'm not allowed to be upset anymore. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use him as an excuse. It's just, I'm saying it. It's been hard for all of us. That cow. That little cow! I hear nothing from her these days. Not a word, not a peep, not a card on my birthday. I mean, she should just be a little more thankful for what I did for her. Granted, yes, the stepmother was a monster. Should have treated the girl that way. But at the end of the day, it was my butt on the line for her. I mean, I got her out of there. Got her the handsome prince. An invitation to the wedding? Wouldn't have got a miss. 
I mean, turning a pumpkin into a coach. Do you have any idea how difficult that is? Took everything I got. And on top of that, you got the dress, you got the shoes, you got the dress. And on top of that, you got the coachman and all of his gear. You'll see I'm not wearing my wings today. I'm not in uniform. I don't wear them on my day off. People think just because you're a fairy godmother, they can just walk up to you on the street. It's like, hello, it's a job. I get paid for this. We have a union. Just once, a little recognition would be nice. I mean, where's our happily ever after? We can make them for other people, but we can't even make them for ourselves? That's the most ridiculous thing I have ever bippity boppity booped.